Welcome back to my channel, you guys. What do y'all think about that intro? Yeah, I'm getting better. I wanted to show y'all how I did this Happy Holiday t-shirt that I got from the Rhinestone World, which was free. Yes, it was free. And what I did, um, I downloaded the design, and this is how it came in in Corel Draw. It comes in already set up the design and everything all you have to do from here is pretty much um you set it up in your um the box which i'm getting ready to show you all that but here is all the designs that came in those are the snowflakes those are the lights that's um on a t-shirt i know that you know there's a t-shirt when in the intro and it had like little snowflakes and lights. All this stuff comes in. Look at it. That is the background of the um, Happy Holiday. It comes in exactly like this. So everything is already set up for you. All you have to do is pretty much um, highlight the design and send it to your cutter. I'm going to show y'all um, exactly how I did it. But some of these designs I had to um, move out of the way because it was like in my box. See the box right there? You have to put the design in that box, the design that you're getting ready to use. So the cutter can see exactly what needs to be cut. I was thinking about doing that one first, but I was like, oh, that one is pretty much in the way. So I said I'll move some of the, um, the inside of the, um, the lights out the way and I decided to highlight the background of the design now here we are into um, silhouette because you know I'm using my silhouette cameo for my cutter and from here the design came in so all you have to do is set it up for what type of material that I'm using which I'm using the glitter glitter vinyl so I find that on my cutter and as soon as you hit the setting, glitter vinyl, glitter vinyl, all the settings will come up for you. And then we will send it to the cutter. And we're doing the green first. I decided to do the green for the background. And also, you guys, always remember to do a test cut. You have to do that. And now we are back to do the second part of the design. This is the part that goes inside of the outline. So it's pretty much the same exact way that I did the first one. You have to highlight it. You send it to your um, Silhouette Cameo. You put all your settings in. As soon as you highlight Glitter Vinyl, all the settings are going to um, pop up for you. So that way you know how to set your blade. And normally the blade comes up for either three or four, but I have a new blade, so I'm going to put my blade on three. And there we have it. It came through, and now the silhouette is cutting. So, all right, guys, from here we are going to weed. So enjoy the rest of the video and watch how good my silhouette cameo cut this glitter vinyl. Also guys, I did the same exact holiday design, happy holiday. I just 
made it smaller. I think I did it maybe um, a three by four inch, and I did that for the hat. It's the same exact um, design, you know, has the um, the outline, the trimming, and then for the inside, I did the gold. Exactly the same as I did for the t-shirt, I did for the hat. But also, I'll, and then towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I did a little extra um, rhinestones. I decided to do some rhinestones. I just had it had to make it a little bit more bling bling. So please enjoy and watch me weed all this stuff. I mean that silhouette cameo is the best cutter out there for the price. Now this is holographic vinyl. I use this for the inside of the lights and also for the snowflakes. Remember guys, this type of vinyl is a cold pill. So through the video, you notice I'm going to leave the the top, like the cover sheet on top of like the snowflakes and the inside of the um, light buzz because it's a cold pill. So you have to wait till it cool off before you can peel it. Now guys, this is the glitter vinyl and these are the light bulbs that I was just talking about. I just showed you the inside of the light bulbs. Now look how great that silhouette cameo cuts. We are going to do the hat first and then we are going to do the t-shirt. Also guys, on the back, I just had to use this rhinestone stencil that I got, North Pole. Alright guys, right here is where I put the rhinestones on it. They are AB crystal stones and they are size 20. The same exact way, I just sprinkled a couple of these AB crystal rhinestones on the t-shirt and they came out gorgeous. And right here guys, I just took out the Teflon sheet that I put in between the t-shirt so the rhinestones would not stick to the back of the t-shirt. Guys, I decided to put a little snowflake, a little rhinestone snowflake on the sleeve. I'm just preheating the sleeve and that's just a piece of foam board that you get from the dollar store. You can cut it to any size. And here is the snowflakes SS6s. Has so many of them so I decided to use them. And now we are done and this is the finish, the hat and the t-shirt.
and here is the t-shirt and thank you so much guys for watching my video I truly appreciate it I hope you subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up share this video sharing is caring and guys do not forget to hit that notification button hit it twice so you will not miss out on any more of my videos especially my t-shirts videos hope to bring you some more videos as good as this one and remember guys hugs and kisses and have a wonderful holiday and make one of these t-shirts for yourself.